Thank you, Speaker. I'm pleased to rise today to recognize a special 20th anniversary celebration for three organizations in the Headwaters region. The Dufferin County Museum, Theatre Orangeville, and In the Hills magazine all began 20 years ago. Under the attentive eye of curator Wayne Townsend and archivist Steve Brown, the Dufferin County Museum and Archives showcases our community's heritage and culture through its artifacts, collections, and records. The museum is a hive of activities in all seasons with events that educate and entertain by sharing the fascinating collections and stories from Dufferin, and in fact, they are highlighted in uh, Queen's Park this week. Theatre Orangeville has entertained thousands since it opened its doors. With artistic director David Nairn at the helm, the Theatre Orangeville stage has launched the careers of talented professional actors. Many original Canadian works have premiered on the stage at Orangeville and have gone on to achieve national and international success. I am particularly impressed with Theatre Orangeville's dedication to the development of its youth programs and its partnership with Community Living Dufferin. Publisher and editor, Signe Ball of In the Hills magazine, has been sharing our community's unique stories for two decades. In the Hills captures the beauty of our community and celebrates our past, present, and future. As an award-winning magazine, Signe Ball and the talented writers and photographers are documenting the tales of the Headwaters region. I congratulate these three organizations on their 20th anniversary.